Hi, I'm Andrew from Hamilton Homes. First of all, I hope you're all safe and well. We are now entering week seven of the Spanish lockdown and slowly but surely the Spanish government are easing restrictions. As from yesterday, children up to the age of 14 are able to go for a short walk up to maximum one kilometer from their homes between the hours of 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. when accompanied by, their, by an adult family member. So hopefully, slowly but surely, restrictions will be eased. The lockdown is until the 9th of May, and from then, hopefully, we're gonna see some further easing of restrictions. So in the meantime, let's all stay home, stay safe, and together we can overcome this. Now, over the last few weeks, I've had a number of buyers and sellers giving me calls and emailing me, saying, well, what's going to happen to the Spanish property market? Uh, and over these few weeks, I've been listening to a lot of webinars. I've been reading a lot. I've been listening to a lot of economists uh, on the subject just to see, well, what is going to happen? Now, this crisis is not anything that we can compare to the financial crisis of 2008 to 2014. The financial crisis was very much a structural problem within the economy. It was a banking problem. This crisis is a medical crisis, it's a pandemic. And so the economy was strong going into um, this crisis. However, coming out the other side, I think we are going to be seeing a weakening of the economy, just merely because there's going to be so many people that are going to have been losing their jobs and confidence. There's just not going to be that confidence in the market when we come out the other side. So there is contrasting theories of how this crisis is going to pan out. We could either have a V shape, which is basically the crisis has hit, but we're going to have a quick and immediate bounce back as soon as we're all allowed to go out and spend again. There could be a U-shaped recovery. So we've had the crisis and we could float along the bottom for a while until confidence comes back in the market. And then we will have another rebound back to where levels were before the crisis. Or we could have an L, which is basically we have the crisis and we're going to be flatlining for a while before the confidence is back in the market, before the market then gradually picks up again. I think it's still very early to predict where we're in the lockdown and until we actually exit the other side, we're not going to really know what's going to happen. It's just going to be depend on how the consumer is going to react. So as soon as the lockdown was announced, the immediate effect was a complete paralysis of the market. Real estate agents were not allowed out, they were not allowed to go on viewings. And in fact, I think because people were in such shock, there was nobody even phoning or emailing saying, hey, I'm interested in buying a property. As the pandemic has gone through its evolution, people being confined at home are obviously having more time on their hands and they are researching. They are looking at uh, the internet and by default, they're looking at properties. And a recent um, article by Idealista said that a lot of people are searching properties and saving the properties in their favorites. So it's hopes that once we come out of lockdown, all those people that have been saving all these properties as their favorites will then convert into contacts and buyers. The fate of individual real estate companies is very much going to depend on their cash flow. So those that have been able to save and those that have been able to plan or indeed have been able to acquire um, finance from the government um, funding should be able to then be stronger uh, coming out of this crisis. But it is forecast by a recent article in the press that a lot of real estate agents are going to close and that the market is going to go through a process of consolidation. So over these few weeks, I've taken the opportunity to speak to a number of our sellers. And from what we've seen, these sellers fall into two camps. We've got those sellers that have a low loan to value, low mortgage, and they're not in any rush to sell. And those sellers are basically saying, we're not gonna reduce our price, we are gonna wait. So we'll either remove the property from for sale or we're just going to keep at that price and we're just going to wait and see how the market evolves. 
The other um, section or sector of the sellers are those that potentially have got a high loan to value, have got a high mortgage, uh, or potentially have a second home on the coast, on the Costa del Sol, and perhaps are feeling the pinch and perhaps they've lost their jobs and they need liquidity. And so obviously, depending on the seller and depending on um, their need for cash, so they're going to have to reduce their prices. And so I think in the short term, we will see a reduction in prices and this will be fueled by those clients that are in urgent need to, to sell their property. Equally, for our property buyers, normally the process from buying a property from start to finish can take several months. And so we found that several buyers were stuck. When, when the lockdown was called, the notaries were stopped, everybody was in a panic mode. And so a few of our buyers that were literally ready to go to notary had to stop. And now, slowly but surely, the notaries are open, back up and running. In fact, a recent lawyer told me that they're actually more efficient because the notary wants to spend as little time as possible um, with the public. And so they're preparing the documents beforehand, the drafts are ready, and therefore when the clients arrive, five minutes, completion, and everybody's back out of the door. We also have some clients who are ready to buy. They've got their mortgage in place, they've got their documents in place, everything is literally ready to go and sign, but they're stuck in the bureaucratic process. Um, what I mean is the, the land registries, for example, have been suspended. So any property that was waiting to be registered at the moment is stopped and therefore we cannot go to notary to complete on a deal until the land registries are open again. Hopefully this will be round about the 9th of May, we're hoping. Unfortunately, there are a few cases of clients that have lost their jobs, their circumstances have changed, and therefore they will not be proceeding with their purchases. So whilst we will see a fall in demand in some sectors of our buyers, we are seeing an increase in demand in another sector, which is home working. Last year we had a number of buyers moving from the UK to Spain, all working from home, and this basically allowed them the facility to not be restricted to working in their home country where their job is. They could come to Spain, they could work through the internet, we have voice over IP telephony, so everyone thinks that that person is still working in the UK. And this trend, I think, is going to increase. Over the last few weeks, people have been forced to be working from home. And I think companies, company managers and business owners are a little bit more open to the idea of allowing people to work from home. And this is going to increase over the next um, few years. And I think this is going to lend itself to people looking for maybe a bigger house, a place where they can have a home office. They're going to be looking for an outside space area so they can self-isolate in the future if they need to. So people will always need to buy and sell houses. People's personal circumstances will be changing. People separating or divorcing, people having a family and wanting a bigger house to start the family, people dying and inheriting the properties. So buying and selling houses isn't something that you can do online. Apart from the fact if you're an investor client or maybe if you're a client that actually knows the area and has visited the area and knows exactly what they're looking for, then maybe you'd be able to buy online. But generally, clients will need to visit the properties. So we have, during the last crisis in 2008, we actually moved our business from being a normal shopfront real estate agency to being an online internet focused business. And I think going forward, we're gonna to have to build on technology, maybe work on ways of doing virtual tours and basically using technology in order to show the buyer a lot more information before the buyer actually comes and visits the, the property. So at the moment, we're doing a lot of behind the scenes, talking with our buyers and sellers, 
and finding out which ways they would like us to, to work in the future. To finish, just to let you know, I've lived on the Costa del Sol for the last 20 years. And over the last six, seven weeks, it's not been actually too bad self-isolating with a beautiful view of the sea. So if any of you buyers need any information, need any property advice, or indeed, if any of you sellers are changing your lifestyle and needing to sell your property, please do contact me. And if you do like these videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Many thanks. <music>